And I've had some questions about uh, what to use to clean it when you have aspergillus penicillin. And so I wanna clarify what that really means. And because it's, it's pretty confusing and it's a really broad category and most people don't realize that. So um, there are many, many species within the category of aspergillus and there are many, many species within the category. everyone, I'm Cheryl Seco and I'm coming on this video to talk about mold species, in particular Aspergillus penicillium species. I've had some questions about uh, that species in particular because it's very common in buildings and I've had some questions about uh, what to use to clean it when you have Aspergillus penicillin. And so I want to clarify what that really means. And because it's, it's pretty confusing and it's a really broad category and most people don't realize that. So um, there are many, many species within the category of aspergillus, and there are many, many species within the category of penicillium. And so there is this taxonomy that they have been discussing for a long time, and they've kind of clustered all these hundreds, literally hundreds of species into this category of aspergillus penicillium. But they're actually two different species, and generally when we do our testing, we don't get to know anything more specific than it's something in that category. You can try and ask the people testing if they can tell you exactly what species is in that they found in the test, but uh, you may or may not be able to get that. So when you're looking to see like, okay, maybe I didn't get what I was trying to treat, maybe it's not gone, maybe whatever I used wasn't didn't affect that species. It doesn't mean that it didn't affect Aspergillus penicillin because that's such a broad category, but there could be one species within that category, maybe one species of penicillin, for instance, that I, I know enough, um, some, some of the experts that I talked to, they said, okay, this one species of Aspergillus that, that this person that I'm thinking of, Dr. Ed Close, who's my mentor, in his career he's seen twice, didn't react to the same cleaning methods as the other species, as the other species in that category that all um, reacted and, and, and were affected in the same way by his cleaning. So um, usually when you get your test results, just know that they're just saying that there's something in that entire species and, and that within the species there's hundreds within that. But these are species of mold that are in buildings. And, um, but all the details about how mold fungus are categorized is a little bit out of my realm. So I just wanted to touch on it and let people know that, that there, that's a big, broad category and there's a lot of species in there and you might be able to clean some of them and some of them may have a harder time being cleaned depending on what you have going on. And so, so the more specific your testing can be may help you get to the crux of what you need to do. But there are a lot of different options. So basically, that's just what I wanted to say about Aspergillus penicillin. Uh, you can even go to Wikipedia and you can look up all the different species. That's one of the links that I have. They have a long list alphabetical of all the species of Aspergillus and all the species of penicillin. And, and some are probably more toxic than others. And then there's probably some they haven't even identified yet. I say, I talk about that a lot, is that you know, we're doing these tests and people are testing for five species. They're, they're not even testing for five species. They, they're testing for a broad category. And then, um, and just know there's hundreds of thousands of species of mold and many of them we haven't identified and surely many of them are toxic. So that's my, my little tidbit on mold in particular, Aspergillus and penicillin. So I hope this helps. If you enjoyed this video, hit subscribe. For more free information on safe building, avoiding mold and water damage, visit avoidingmold.com.